Mtu Zengle Bet, uh, working under uh, HISP Tanzania, uh, holding a position of uh, information system advisor. And uh, it has been uh, a, long, a long time uh, working in, uh, on DHS2. Uh, the first time I started working on the DHS2, uh, it was uh, uh, 200, uh, 2004. And uh, I got um, involved in implementing the DHS2 for agriculture. That was my first project working on the DHS2. So, so uh, through that, a lot has been, uh, uh, it has been like a game changer uh, from that time. Uh, because I, I didn't realize that I can have that robust system uh, which can be able to serve uh, the ministry, uh, specifically the Ministry of Agriculture. And uh, to the moment that I'm speaking, uh, we have uh, 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 more than uh, 10 years of data uh, of agriculture and uh, has been integrated with uh, other uh, sectors, including the health, uh, including for nutrition, like uh, food security and uh, things like that. So to me, it has a lot, it has improved uh, life living of the people uh, by having the means to be able to, uh, to manage and be able to have this informed uh, decision knowing that uh, uh, how can we be able to produce for the year and uh, what do we have right now and uh, what do we need actually. And, uh, and this is the, uh, I can say the result of having the robust system like a, a DHS which has been customized uh, to suit the, the, that kind of context. Uh, then coming uh, after that I get involved in implementing the DHS for the Minister of Health and uh, I got involved to this of uh, DHS2 uh, for health-based financing. Uh, like uh, we need to see the result, but we need to have the way of motivating our health workers uh, in terms of uh, getting this positive result. And uh, that's where the DHS2 comes in because uh, we have to compare of what they are, uh, what they are actually servicing to the people and uh, how we should motivate them to keep increasing in terms of uh, uh, providing the quality service. So that was my second uh, uh, project that I worked and uh, using the DHS to really improve and, uh, 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 and uh, tell you that uh, within three, four, five years that we implemented that project, uh, the real quality of the data got to a certain degree that uh, no one could have imagined. So uh, to me, uh, the DHS2 also served as like a, a really uh, a game changer uh, to, to see how you can use the DHS to even be able to incentivize, uh, provide uh, like the motivation, the motivation for the health workers to really work hard and use the DHS2 and uh, see the impact of it. Uh, another project that um, really uses the DHS2, uh, which actually improved much of the service is was for the uh, star rating of the health facilities uh, like uh, the, the DHS2 helped like capturing knowing uh, the qualities of the facilities what they can provide and what they cannot provide it and then provide the suggestion what they need really to improve so that uh, for the next year they can improve and then raise a star eh? Uh, because when you raise a star and then begin being blended like you are three star or four star or five star, which means you are attracting more customers to be actually be able to visit your facilities. And hence you could have that, you could find that most of the facilities they are really uh, doing the remarkable uh, in terms of providing service to the, to, uh, to the health facility. So there's a lot that DHS2 has done. And uh, for the Tanzania, I think uh, it's one of the product of the one of the platform that uh, we are proud of it. And uh, and I being part of the implementation and uh, then before being the developing uh, developer coming with the different innovations, I'm really proud that uh, I can really change the lives of the of the people in the DHS. So, uh, in summary, that's what I can say. Uh, but apart from the DHS in Tanzania, uh, now. We have skied or expanded using the DHS to the other country like Eritrea. Uh, like today, I was actually showing the uh, the power of the DHS too, eh? uh, reaching eh? like uh, uh, overcoming the uh, connectivity barriers, uh, having that situation in Eritrea. Because most of the people, when you are in the connected world, you might not know what is happening to the other world that they are not connecting but now with the power of the dhs to people they can the, the minister of health can be able to get the data and be able to know what is actually happening uh within the country even if they are uh, they don't they have that connectivity issue but how that is being set up that might be along other story but uh, uh, i can really see how the dhs has really improving uh the lives of the people uh, through uh, what we are actually doing and they will really encourage the core team 
uh, to keep pushing, uh, to keep developing, coming with innovative idea functionality so that they can, uh, uh, we can reach to the limitless. Like, you can't even think what that you can, 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 cannot do. Like, every, everything, when you plug in, it works. So that they really uh, wish that we think that uh, uh, we keep, we need to keep pushing to see that the DHS has no limit to whatever sector that you need to apply or whatever sector that you want to work on.